Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. And I'm Kevin. And today we are, well, we're continuing our being able to find some of the top whiskeys from 2021, One. according to Whiskey yeah, Advocate. Okay. This is the Glendronic Portwood, which came in number 18. Mm -hmm. Made the list. All right. Whatever. Barely. Barely, but it made it. So this distillery has a long history. We've not done any whiskey from Glendronic, mm -mm. as far as I know. So, But they, they date back to 1826 is when they were founded. And their distillery and, and their whole property, still the same spot. And at one at different points, the, the owners live everyone, there, the workers there. live there. Like everything is done on that property. They it's do like things a little bit, yeah. Uh, they do things slightly different. So their scotch is aged in only uh, X sherry casks, both Pedro Jimenez and the Oloroso. Oloroso. This is then taken and put into port pipes. That's a good color. Uh, it's got a whole lot of different. And if I recall correctly, I, I want to say I checked it. It's this is like legit color. Nice. No, no. Well, it should pick up that color being in the yeah the sherry casks, and then the port, and then a port all dark. <clears throat> so I'm gonna say cherries. Yeah, probably cherries and maybe some raisins. Uh, oh yeah. Thumbs up for the bottle open on that one. So we got got this guy. Oh Not yeah. Been, yeah, that smells. <laughs> Wow, that smells more like wine than it does. <laughs> that smells kind of like sherry and port. Like it doesn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's not a lot of scotch notes in that. No, maybe on the palate. Yeah, I'm. Oh, I'm. I'm sure the whiskey's going to show up sooner or later. But that's crazy. That's a lot of fruity grapes. I'm not getting crazy cherry. I am getting a lot of grape notes, but grape, not grape. raisin. Yeah. The initial nosing, I got cherry. Did you? Okay. I still kind of get it. Ooh, that drink's nice. But it's different. But oh, that, but now I got them. There's a little honey, the little malt, the cherry. It's really strong on the palate. And then there's a weird finish. Yeah. Hmm. That's a little funny. I'm going to have to go for another sip. I, can't I was going to say, I'm going to have to sit on that one for a second. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, 1826 is what they date back to. Uh, this is a 92 proof scotch. Getting better. That's pretty <laughs> solid. I can live with that. It is a single malt, 100% malted barley. And I, yeah, Glendronic, as I was looking for it, Glendronic is owned by Brown Foreman. Oh, really? Yeah. Recently, too, like 2000. 15, I think. Mm. So pretty recent. That nose is just grapes. Like a dessert wine type thing. Well, then you would think all those bourbon barrels that they have access they're to. Them. They're not, well, they're using them. They're just not using it they're for, not using it for, for this. this one. Yes. Yeah. Whew, God, that, it's just fruity aftertaste. It just hangs around. It's red grapes. It, um, oh, what's the, uh, since I don't know what, you know, the specifics of the different sherries and, mm -hmm. and the, what a port tastes like. The, um, the really dark red Zevedel wine is Ooh, what yeah. this kind of reminds me of. Like that about? really dark grape, like, note to it. Yeah, now it's just like, uh, I'm getting like a, like a grape candy I'm trying to think which one. like a jolly rancher like a grape jolly no, rancher some sort jolly like rancher. That. i mean more on the hard candy but yeah there's one specifically but yeah i'm getting that grape flavor okay this is definitely dessert yeah this definitely. is definitely yeah this is a dessert whiskey no question about it oh there palate, is a palate cleanser uh, I don't know. A sorbet maybe i don't know it's a little there's a little oiliness to that that I would say is not a say, If I was going to go from like a high proof bourbon to a peaty scotch, I would probably want like maybe this to kind of transition. Transition. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess I could <laughs> buy that one. 
the palette is just funny. There's so many different notes that like, there's almost that honey and malt like cereal note that you get from some scotches. Like I, I, there's that leans towards that, but there's, then the fruit comes through so strong. All right, let's see power suggestion because they, okay. they do their own. What do they got? So <clears throat> from the nose, they're saying breathe in a delightful waves of Victorian plum. <clears throat> Dark plums. Bramble okay. and strawberry jam. With top notes of cherry blossom and honeysuckle on the base of sandalwood and ginger. Ginger. I can see the strawberry jam a little bit. Well, the plums, like a dark yeah. plum, I could definitely, I can go that, down that path. Palette, layers upon layers of rich fruits, sip blackberry and roasted apple crumble with freshly baked gingerbread developing into baked orange and black cherry back note. The finish, black cherry. the finish, it says savor orange peel, the sultana and cherry cake lingering into a rich, fruity finish. Lots of fruit notes. Yeah. That's basically. Which it should. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's being exposed to so much you know, fruit water, impact. You know, water this one? Yeah, sorry. I got lost in the fruit. <laughs> This could be interesting. This could change the whole profile with how oily it is. I don't even know. I have no idea what's going to come out of this. It lightened. So it's it's now like a lighter cherry. It's yeah. not that really dark, dark cherry, but still super cherry. Ooh, I just got a real grape. I just cleaned my sinuses out. Went a little too deep on yeah, the... Yeah, yeah there, there's still an ethanol note. I, 90, 92 proof. It, it has an ethanol note, and the water definitely kicked it off. I got a little spice in there now, like a baking spice, maybe barrel spice, something along those lines. It still shifted sweet. away from the grape to cherry to me, though. I don't get any grape anymore. I got all cherries. All cherries? Okay. I get your spice, the spice for sure. Mm -hmm. It heats up just a little bit but i don't get any grape maybe on the lingering aftertaste but it's it's yeah i was gonna say it slid back. back now the cherry plum. i can't say that plum, plum. that plum is, that that plum is actually a really good call i would have never thought of that and i hadn't had plums in years but that's a really good call by them that that's probably hence the color hence the color yeah i guess so that's a crazy little bottle right there but that is a all right, so you scored number 18. Got 18. Expensive bottle. It's not cheap. Yeah, <laughs> it's not cheap. Uh, I want to sell, so yeah, uh, nine, 90 bucks, 90, $95. I can't remember exactly what I paid for it, but there's Christine, somewhere's don't in that watch range. This episode. Yeah, somewhere's, <laughs> somewhere's between 90 $95 is what this is going to cost. It is non age stated, but when you go on their website, it says 10 years. Okay. So, and I have to assume. Doing it in X Sherry cast is probably more expensive than X Bourbon cast. It's just my guess because they can reuse them. So, mm -hmm. yeah, like the X Bourbon, you can't use that. So, I, I don't know. I'm not sure why the cost is driven up that much, but it's interesting. It's different. Ooh, that sandalwood just came through on the nose. <laughs> that was fun. Still, I mean, the fruit notes are just yeah. crazy. It's a good bottle. I don't know if I. No, I wouldn't do it again. Then what you bought? My personal pick. Pay, I would not do it again. I would not go. It's not. It's not one of those. It's not one of the ones where every time I see it, I'm like, hell yeah, I'm buying mm -hmm. that. Um, but a port a restaurant for dessert. Yeah, I, yeah, yep. absolutely. I, I'd wonder what. This was like a little slice of cheesecake. A little... Yeah, uh, something like that. Cheese or cheesecake. Yeah. I think that would they it would pair really well. A chocolate could pair really well. Uh, grapes, just like a charcuterie, not the meat side, but the meat, mm -hmm. just the fruit and the cheese side of that. Nuts, I think would go really well with that. It's probably it's not it wouldn't be a whiskey I'd go to on a regular basis. But I will be bringing this around in my the next time I'm hanging out with people. <laughs> Hey, try this. It's, I think it's. I mean, it's, it's interesting. I think it's interesting. I think it's. There's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the pour for sure. Um, I wonder if it's going to open up after the next pour. Possibly. Because 
now I, I, I just got a touch of a chocolate note in that last taste. Okay. So I wonder if there's just more air needs to come through. That'll be another one where we'll, we'll have to circle back and just see if it opens up and changes mm -hmm. a touch. Or as my father-in-law says, a touch. A touch. That's good though. Yeah, it's good. Uh, maybe not $90 good. Again, I just, I think we said it before, I would love to just sit with that group that votes on these and what's their criteria and why, why is this one one and this one is 20. But, and it's all, it's all different spirits. It's not all bourbons. It's not all whiskeys. No. It's not all Irish. It's like, how do, how do you blend? Like, yeah. How do you compare a Irish to a bourbon? A an Irish to a bourbon, to a rye, to yeah. a Japanese whiskey, to a, yeah. I mean, that Takatasoro was a couple spots above this. Yeah. Totally different whiskey. <laughs> it would be a hell of a lot easier if it was just, here's the top 20 Here's bourbons, the top bourbons. Here's yeah. the top whiskeys. Here's the top Irishes, Scotches. Yes. Japanese. I would agree that that would be probably an easier, easier process to... But man, it's going to be a lot of fun to be in. To be in. <laughs> it's not a, I, I'm sure it's not a horrible job. <laughs> I, what do you got to do today? I got to taste like 300 whiskeys. <laughs> Interested to see what how it turns out. I, I do think this one's going to open up because it's so complex. It's, it almost has to open yep. up. <laughs> oh, we'll find out. Yeah. So do you know how many more they have at, at their distillery? No, I didn't. I, I went on their website. They, they have a standard line and a limited release line. This is part of their limited release line. I, all right, you're taxing my brain. I'm going to say there was four or six in the regular line, okay. and there was like two currently in the limited release okay. line. This was one of them. All right, so we've got, we've got options. There's, there's other ones got, out there. Other ones to track down. And I'm interested to see without the port, what's right. just the sherry cast aging taste like. That would be interesting as a comparison. Or like a little ab -ish. The bourbon barrels, since they're brown formula ones. Yeah, I... Yeah, that'd be interesting. It wasn't where I was just like, wow, that was bad. Mm -mm. It's different. It's a very different profile. It makes me interested to try to find something else from that to story. It just, for me, I was like, oh, I'm going to have this. It's going to be... It's dessert. After, after yeah. right after dinner with, yeah. with a slice yeah. of cheesecake or a plate of chocolates. It would play well with... I think this would play really well with cheesecake, actually. Yep. Taking a little blueberry or blackberry on top. Yep. But I would say this is this is solid. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. I enjoyed it. I like the the complexity to it. The the different fruits that play play in it. Um, the cherries, the grapes. Yeah. The plum. Yeah. So again, it's just interesting that there's just no expert barrel yeah. tied in this at all. And 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 it's missing like a vanilla note a a lot of the things that the ex bourbon barrel would add to that it the doesn't vanilla, the honey the brown sugars the all that kind of stuff every once in a while i got a touch of a honey but it's not nice. strong nope. this is so fruit forward it's kind of yep. crazy so anxious yeah. to try some of the other ones yeah yeah so i'd be are. interested well we hope you enjoyed the review uh as always if you did we'd really encourage you to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and while you're down there, subscribe. Uh, we may have just crossed 300 and we are looking to continue to grow the channel. You will get content just like this uh, about twice a week. We, we, we'll review some whiskey we've never had before and talk about it. And if you got a favorite in this lineup, yeah, if you got drop a Blendronic, a note, that's man, interesting. We'd, we'd love to track it down and, and do a review on the channel. Absolutely. So, well, thanks for joining. See you on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.